Hello guys, welcome back. Um, we are joined by Graham Watts, the Liberal member, member for Burwood. And I just want to ask you, do you think it was a good turnout today? I think it was a pretty good crowd. It's, uh, it's always good to be with people that are actually standing up for parental rights. Exactly. And I couldn't support you more. That is really awesome uh, for you to say that. And I just want to basically say that we shouldn't even have to gather here for the rights of our children, for the future of our children, because it should be common sense for the government to realise that uh, the the future of the child is in the parents' hands yep. and in the child's hands, not the state's hands. Yep. So I also want to ask you, um, what are your plans for the future? Well, as far as uh, the election comes up at the end of the year, I would hope that people get the message and understand that the Liberal Party have already committed to remove the Safe Schools program and introduce a proper anti-bullying program that covers all forms of bullying in uh, right throughout the system. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure people get that message and understand there is a big difference between the government and Daniel Andrews, what he wants to do, and what we as Liberals have already uh, committed to. I, there's a fundamental problem that Daniel Andrews thinks that he's better at parenting my kids and your kids and everybody else's kids uh, than parents are themselves. Mm. We need to get that message out there. As I said, the Liberals have committed to remove the uh, Safe Schools program and replace it with a proper anti-bullying program covering all forms of bullying. Exactly. And I hear that in Canada um, they've had some horror stories from the Safe Schools program over there and I think we should really be taking a page out of Canada's book um, and applying it here and seeing what's going to happen down the track because it seems to be a recurring pattern. So what are your thoughts on that one? Well I don't really know the Canadian experience, I haven't looked at that, but what I can say is that both of the, the Liberals and the Labour Party in New South Wales have committed not only to get rid of it but not to introduce it. Yep. And I'd love to uh, see the government here actually understand that there is a movement of parents that actually want to be able to have a say in the education of their children. Uh, I don't think we should have a compulsory program which teaches morals to our kids which are different to what uh, parents would have themselves. Yeah, exactly, um, especially when it comes to kids that are five years old. They're already being taught things that they shouldn't be hearing until they're at least 15, or shouldn't be hearing at all, in fact. And yep. It's up to the parents to decide when the child is ready to learn what they need to learn and it should not be being forced on our children to have these agendas thrown down or pushed down their throats so yeah well as a parent of two teenage boys I think that I should have the right to know what to uh, what my kids are being taught I should have the right to uh, um, to be able to have a say in what my kids are being taught exactly well thank you very much you've done you've done an excellent job thanks very much I love your speech Thanks. Natural speaker there, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.